what she was doing after that came back. You're alone, bro. Not even a volunteer? No. Because they believe in you, that's why. Try not to uh, get people to come in and out. If they do, please like try and get someone to. We are an organization that um, provides literacy classes and seeks to empower refugee women and the marginalized communities. Currently, we, are, uh, we have organized uh, three weeks of classes where we uh, teach women and children um, how to speak, how to write, and how to read in Bahasa and English. It was very essential for us um, to not pit uh, the refugee women as as, um, as a charity, uh, you know, as a, as a charity where they are constantly requiring um, external aid. So we want to equip them with the ne necessary uh, skills f um, so that they could sustain themselves, so that they don't they aren't dependent on anything else. Step in and help empower these women. That's where we said, okay, we could help. So that's how it all starts. That was the whole stepping stone of helping them, sending them to hospitals, getting them the uh, So we're hoping that, you know, as the situation with COVID uh, subsides and gets better, we would love to integrate more volunteers and more people to actually come and teach them and spend time with them and have this very um, community-based uh, interaction between them who are, you know, marginalised in that sense and the locals from Malaysia. Kena-kena uh, ada orang doktor tu tak cakap tak pandai cakap Melayu dia cakap English uh, susah sikit kalau kalau kita nak pergi luar negeri pun uh, nak cerita English kan uh, itulah kita nak belajar English tu.